Carlo Ancelotti has insisted he is content with life at Real Madrid, but as the Brazil remains vacant, the links Betwen him and the Silicar refuse to die down. According to Fabio Capello, Brazil won't find a better Italian to do the job. On Friday it was reported that Ancelotti and Brazil had a deal for him to take over at the end of the season. The Brazilian Football Federation, CBF, then released a public statement denying those claims, while Ancelotti would say that he intends to be at Real Madrid until they threw him out after the World Club Cup final on Saturday. Speaking to Radio Rai, as carried by Marca, Capello explained that Ancelotti was the best ever Italian manager. Ancelotti is a great coach, the greatest we have had in Italy, he is the best of all because winning everywhere is difficult. Ancelotti has won titles in each of the five major European leagues, as well as Champions Leagues in Italy and Spain. Capello believes that the Brazil post would be a dream job for Ancelotti though. It's an interesting idea, very beautiful. Coaching a national team is very different, but managing Brazil for him could be a dream at the end of his career, as it was for me the England bench. I hope it will be so. Capello should have a fairly good idea of what he is talking about, having managed three of the same clubs in Milan, Roma and Real Madrid. Ancelotti appears to be enjoying an Indian summer in his managerial career, having looked like he was moving away from the top level of coaching at Everton before he took the Real Madrid job. According to journalist José Luis Sánchez, Real Madrid midfielder Tony Cruz is not training with the team today due to gastroenteritis and is set to miss the La Liga clash against Elche on Wednesday. Real Madrid were not involved in league action this past week as they were away in Morocco, participating in the FIFA Club World Cup, which they won by defeating Al Hilal in the finals in Rabat. Cruz, who had been in the starting 11 in both the Club World Cup matches against Al Ali and Al Hilal, is currently out with gastroenteritis. Having not participated in the final training session before tomorrow's game against Elche, the 33 year old midfielder is set to sit out the contest. Cruz has featured 30 times across all competitions this season, scoring two goals and registering four assists. Despite his advancing age, the midfielder remains a crucial part of the setup under Carlo Ancelotti. With his contract expiring at the end of the season, Los Blancos are keen to renew him for another year, although the German icon is yet to make a decision. Along with Cruz, Ferland Mendy and Eden Hazard were also not spotted in training today as they recover from their respective injuries. Vinicius Jr. was also not seen as he is set to miss the Elche clash due to suspension for accumulation of cards. However, Jorge Picon reports that Tibor Coutoise and Lucas Vasquez started the training sessions normally, which will come as a boost for Ancelotti, although it remains to be seen if the duo will be ready in time to play tomorrow at the Santiago Bernabeu. Real Madrid and Barcelona have often competed to sign the best young players in the world in recent years, with the majority of those being from South America. Both clubs were after wonderkid forward Endrick Felipe last year, with Real Madrid beating off Barca, as well as several other top clubs in Europe, to secure the signing of the 16-year-old, who will join Carlo Ancelotti's side next summer. Endrick isn't the only Brazilian youngster that both clubs were after. Before joining Real Madrid in 2019, Rodrigo was wanted by Barcelona when he was still at Santos. In an interview with Goal, as per MD, the 22-year-old revealed that he was very close to joining the Blagrana, despite his desire to join their El Clasico rivals. I had two shirts, one for Barca and one for Real Madrid, and I had to choose. It was very easy for me to choose, but everything was agreed with Barcelona. I didn't expect Real Madrid to come. It was a scare but then one of the happiest moments of my life. Rodrigo added his seventh trophy in Real Madrid colours last week, as Los Blancos won the Club World Cup for a record fifth time. The Brazilian has gone on to become a regular in Real Madrid colours, and will hope to achieve more success at the club before the season is out.